You're not going to believe what broke on my travel trailer in my 24,000 miles around America. to the channel thanks for stopping by if you're a long time subscriber always good to have you back i'm warwick and today we're gonna go over every single thing that broke on my 24,000 miles around america in my 2021 micro mini 2306 so let's jump right into the first issue so if you've seen a couple of my other videos i have done a video about everything i love about my micro mini and one of them is kind of a love-hate relationship and that is this box right here. This box in the world of RVs is called a slide. And what slides normally do is make it more comfortable to live in your RV. But sometimes they make having an RV a pain in the ass. But let's talk about my slide issues. So this is currently the problem that's going around in the micro mini and RV industry is some slide issues. Now the slide looks perfectly fine right now and it is and it hasn't stopped going in and out once everything's good there. But what happens is when the slide is all the way in and when you're traveling 24,000 miles all that weight that's hanging on the outside now is hanging on the inside and that weight bounces when you're going on the road and what has happened is the slide frame has actually started separating from the body now I don't foresee this being a big issue to fix and there will be a video of me fixing the issue so be sure you subscribe and check out that video when it comes out but that is one of the things that are broken. It's kind of half broken because it still works. I just know it needs to be addressed because if I don't address it, it will get worse. So now we are inside my 2306 and the second thing that broke, and this actually shattered on my last trip, is the glass countertop for the stove. Now, firstly, I don't understand what the glass countertop is for because a lot of people actually turn the stove on and it shatters because it's not a hot plate, it's just a glass cover. But you also can't put too much weight on it because it's a glass plate. So what actually happened is the stove, I have a stove oven combo, which they have since discontinued, but the screws holding the stove into the countertop actually slowly unthreaded and the countertop sunk down a little and it compressed the metal and made the glass countertop shatter. Now if I caught that these screws were coming loose I could have just tightened them or put a different screw in and that would have stopped that from splitting. But what I recommend is finding a cutting board that is the correct size. Now that fits right on top that gives you the exact same working space as the glass except it is much more rigid and you can put hot stuff on here so what i recommend is you just take that off or double check all your screws after every trip and then you can use a cutting board on top now guys issue number three is going to happen with every single rv out there and that is going to be things start separating screws start coming out wood starts separating backsplash starts separating now keep in mind, don't get upset at the RV manufacturer. Yes, they can improve. Yes, they could have done this. Yes, they could have used more glue. Yes, they could have used better screws. But ask yourself this question. If you didn't turn on the AC in your house and you drove your house down the road and it bounced up and down, how would the things in your house react? Now that's the same thing that happens inside of your travel trailer. Now, yes, you turn the AC on when you're using it. But realistically, RVs are not used more than they are used. And when they are not used, they are sitting in the sun, baking in the extreme heat, must get up to 150 degrees in these campers. And then in the winter, there's no heat. So then they're going all the way down. And with that is the expansion and contraction of everything coupled with the fact that you're towing this down the road and everything is bouncing and rattling. So I don't think it's a, RV brands problem that things start separating. It's just the nature of the beast. Unfortunately, it's going to happen. I don't personally recommend a camper to anyone that doesn't have some sort of handyman skill set. You're going to want to fix things. And the reason you want that skill set 
is because if you find yourself needing a warranty issue because the backsplash separated or because the water pump is a bit, a little bit loose, you're going to use the usability of your camper because now you're going to have to make an appointment with the dealership. You're going to have to take it to the dealership. They're going to get to it when they can, and it's just not going to be a fun experience. Another thing is things are bound to happen once you get to your location. You just bounced your house for 300 miles on the highway. You get to your location. You set up everything. Oh, your water is not working. Up oh, the backsplash fell off. You're going to want to fix it there. You don't want to be annoyed all weekend with something not working. Then figure out when you can take it to the dealer when you should actually be at work. Guys, get handy so you can enjoy RVing. Now the fourth thing on the list, I'm going to tell you, this is a big issue and the big issue is me. I'm a big guy and I'm over the weight limit for those stairs. So one day I was rushing in and out and I came out of the camper, stepped in the middle of the bottom step and it bent slightly. Now this is not anyone's fault other than myself and my desire love for beer and food. But other than that, that did break. So I'd mention it, but it just bent and it's still there. And I don't want to upgrade it to the big stairs that fold in because that's a you know, expensive piece and it takes up a lot of space inside. So guys, that is everything. And I've taken my camper everywhere. And those are the issues. Now, maybe you're going to say there must be more issues. Well, guys, I think the bigger issue is you getting upset when you see something starting to fall apart. Screws will come on loose. So keep a screwdriver in there and make sure you tighten them after every trip. If you see they loose, that may be an inconvenience but it's the nature of the RV game. Now, another thing is if you see a screw coming in and out quite a bit, increase the size a little bit and make sure you keep an eye on it. That should solve that issue. There's not going to be a perfect RV, but there are things that you can do to make your RV experience perfect. Now, guys, that is crazy. If you want to see any of my travel series, be sure you check out the link above because I've taken this thing off road, snow everywhere, and that is all that has broken. So thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. But thanks a lot for tuning in. And until next time, I'll see you then.